boys and girls. Today we are going to work on drawing our endangered species. So you will be getting a color photo that is yours to keep for this project. Don't lose it before we're done with it or else you are just out of luck and you will have to guess on the colors when we start coloring it in. So what you're going to do with your color photo is you, if you need to, you can sketch on it to figure out the shape of things. And you can do it on a sloppy copy. You have the option. If you want to do it on a final copy first, you may. But remember, if you make a mistake, you have to deal with it because you only get one final copy. So I'm just going to do mine on my final copy. So if I make a mistake, I'm just going to draw really lightly so that I can easily erase. So look at the basic shape of what it is that you're drawing. Now once I have the basic shape of my animal, or should I say endangered species because there's reptiles and plants that you can choose from as well, you are going to, or amphibians, look at the details and add in those details in the picture. Now you're not coloring, you're just going to draw where the basic shapes of these details are. It doesn't have to be exact, but try your best using your observational drawing skills to match it up. So I'm going to draw lightly. So there is roughly my finished frog. I'm going to take a break from it a little because I have it drawn on here and I want to make sure that I have everything drawn on here right. So I'm going to just take a break from it and not look at it for a little and then go back and return and see if there's any errors that I need to fix. Once you get to this part you can outline in Sharpie and then I'm going to show you guys how to color in and color pencils. Hello boys and girls. Now I have my frog completely drawn. I have it looking how I want it to look. So now it's time for you to color it in. You are going to color in using colored pencils. And you're going to show value. So what I mean by that is in areas in the picture where it's lighter, right, right there on the nose, there is a really light highlight. You should either color lightly so really lightly and then the rest it's a little dark so I'm going to color darkly so I'm pressing harder to show the lightness to darkness of black so I'm going to go ahead and coloring all of my black spots using value looking to see where it's a little lighter and coloring it a little lighter there or where it's a little darker and coloring it a little darker now you might find in some areas that you need to mix colors to get the color the right color tone that you have in the picture. So you may do so as well. Okay, I have all of my black done. Now I'm going to get a bunch of different tints and shades of green that I'm going to use to create my frog. Now you're going to be blending in some areas, you're going to be layering and creating new colors in some other areas. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'll start with the lighter green here. Maybe I want a tiny bit of yellow too because it looks like there's some yellow here. So what I'm going to lightly do where I see the little yellowish, I'm going to lightly color, very lightly in yellow in those areas that I see it. So that when we start coloring this in, you're going to see the tint of the yellow. Now, also when you're coloring with color pencils, sharper pencils work better because they go into the paper better than ones that aren't as sharp. So you can sharpen, you'll have your own sharpeners that you can use for this. Have fun working on this boys and girls. Have fun working on this, boys and girls.